In the last few years, India has rapidly emerged as a preferred investment destination. FDI inflows have increased. For more on this, we on senior news anchor Molly Gambhir spoke with the managing director and CEO of Invest India, Deepak Bagla. Listen in. Let's talk about uh, the mood uh, as far as the foreign investment uh, uh, interest in India is concerned and the opportunities and how you've seen that journey really been going uh, for the last uh, couple of years. We've seen a boost when it comes to the investment interest as well in India. Well, you just let me share a few statistics with you. The total FDI is India has received in its entire history of free India has been about $900 billion, of which 523 have come in the past 84 months. That means over 58% has come only in the past 84 months. Yeah. Now let me put it another way for you. Since 2014-15, yeah. every year we've set a new record in our FDI. This year, and remember last year was a complete lockdown, we received the highest ever FDI we've got in our history, $83.4 billion. But what's more interesting in that is that it's come from a record 101 countries. 101 countries today. Trust your leadership, trust your future, trust your partnership, trust your entrepreneurship and want to be partnering with you. More interesting, it came across 57 sectors. The bouquet of opportunity which India is presenting to the global investor today is unmatched. And that is a reflection of the unprecedented transformation which is happening in India. And let me tell you the last part of that, which is the most interesting. This time, it's come across 31 states and union territories. The growth of India is now bottom up. It's no longer top down. And it is that sense of equitable growth, which is what the Honorable Prime Minister has been focusing on. And we are now beginning to see the results of it. Also, the boost in investment uh, confidence, the investor confidence overall, when, it, when we talk about uh, spanning across industries, it's not just particularly uh, one industry. What do you think is the reason why uh, we're seeing that sudden interest in India as far as its growth story is concerned? Investment goes where there's opportunity. Investment goes where there's a return. And investment goes where there's trust. All these three are there in India today. The trust in India's leadership, the trust in India's entrepreneurship, and the trust in India's ability to deliver to its promises. You put these all three together, that is the source of the success. And talking about how India is also emerging as a, a major startup hub, uh, we've seen the tremendous journey that uh, the country has undertaken on that uh, front as well. But what are the challenges that you see uh, as far as the startup ecosystem right now is concerned? Molly, let me tell you the story of the startup first. One, I think it is one of the most, it's a story actually which is now being looked at business schools across the globe. Mm -hmm. Startup India was launched by the Honorable Prime Minister on 16 January 2016. So we are what, 72 months mm -hmm. down the line. When we started Startup India, we had about 450 startups. Today we have over 88,000. And I'll tell you what's interesting about that. Look at what happened to us even in the midst of this entire startup thing. 2020 was a lockdown. We added a unicorn every 29 days. 2021 last year, lockdown again. We added a unicorn every nine days. Today you are number three in the world in number of unicorns, number two in the world in number of startups, and number one in the world with new startups adding every day. It's an unprecedented story from creating a policy which was with, with very extensive stakeholder participation to monitoring its execution and to delivering an outcome all in a short period of 74 months. This is what business school case studies are today looking at. And I think startup is now going to be now the biggest generator of growth going forward is if I look at it, for the first time in our history, that entire digitization part has enabled each and every citizen of India turning them into a human resource. And with that comes the entire entrepreneurship skill of Startup India, mm. which is being able to deliver solutions which we thought were no longer 
some challenges which we could not tackle. So it is bringing growth, it is accelerating growth, it is catalyzing economic development, and it is making it more inclusive. All right, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much.